It is hot in here today. What is happening? Don't worry, it's water. I just have in this glass so it looks luxurious. Hey guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. Do you guys notice something different about me? Hi there. Yes, my brows are very, very sad, very scary girls. But today, if you click on this video, you're in the right place because we're gonna go from looking like this to this and teach you guys how to get that soft, bushy, so brow look. So keep on watching. I hate using this line so much because I feel like every single influencer and blogger and YouTuber uses this, but so many people have been asking me how to do my brows on Instagram, on YouTube here. So today I've decided to finally do this brow look. I do have a brow tutorial from a few months ago that I will link up top or in the description. So watch that video if you like a more cleaner brow with the Benefit products. But I've realized that with my face shape and my style, I do prefer a bushier look. If that's what you like, you're gonna enjoy this video. Also remember that I don't like a super dark, filled in, looks like worms on your face. It's just not me, it's too intense. I feel like my personality is sometimes intense. I don't want my brows to be like, ba-bam. If you like that look, this video is not for you. Just stop watching it. One last thing guys, my face seems a little bit swollen. I seem a little off, grumpy. I honestly am in a lot of pain. I think my wisdom teeth are growing in and they're really hurting. So I'm gonna need to have surgery to take them out. Also yesterday I burnt my hand. So I'm a little bit depressed about it because honestly, my dreams and hopes about becoming a hand model is totally out of the question now. Yeah, it's a sad moment, but we're gonna move on and prosper. This, by the way, is my five minute makeup look that I've been doing a lot lately. If you guys do wanna see a tutorial on this look, leave me a comment below and I will do one in the future. But the products that I'm going to be featuring today are the Patrick Ta brow product. I am so obsessed, that's all I've been using lately. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I mean, if Patrick Ta sends me these products in the future, that would be great. So this is the packaging for the Major Brow Shaping Wax. It's really pretty in this rose gold color and the back has like all the description and writing, the ingredients and all that jazz. I don't know if you guys keep your packaging. I literally kept this for this video and I'm gonna throw this out. And this is the actual packaging for the product. Really sleek, really pretty. If you're a pink girl, you're gonna love it. That's the product itself. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. I'm hitting pan, can you believe it? I never hit pan on anything because I have so much products. This product comes in two colors, a clear version and the tinted version, which I picked up. I heard that the clear version, if you're not careful, can leave like a white residue on your eyebrows. And honestly, I'm not a professional makeup artist. So for me, the tinted version is just more beginners friendly. Let's read the packaging. Maximize the shape of your brows with this innovative defining wax, strong yet flexible. Ooh. A few upward strokes of this formula tames and sets even the most stubborn brows with a perfectly pushed up, featherly, and full look. Love that. This is the packaging for the brush that I also bought from Patrick Ta. It is a dual-ended tool made from 100% cruelty-free synthetic bristles for perfecting your brows. This is what the brush looks like, really pretty. The one side is the spoolie and the other side is the brush. If you wanted to use like pomade or something to fill in your brows, or really define the arch here with like concealer or something, I don't know. But I'm not gonna lie, I didn't buy the brush right away when I bought the wax product, just cause I felt like this brush was $23 plus tax, which I think is a lot of money for a spoolie, a brush. <coughs> but it actually makes a huge difference when you're doing your brows. Initially, I was using the back end of my Benefit My Precisely brow pencil, but then when I got this, it made a huge difference to the way my eyebrows looked. If you guys notice, the Benefit tool, the brush is not as big as the Patrick Ta. I also find that the bristles are not as dense as this one. It goes into a cone shape almost, which really makes it easy to define your brow hairs and really give it that feathered, pushed up look, if that makes sense. So that's why this was worth the investment for me. I also got $10 off on Sephora's website with my points, so I saved money, honey. Okay, enough blabbering, let's start the tutorial. The first thing you're gonna do is take your brush and brush your hair upwards. <music> like that. 
Next, we're gonna fill in our eyebrows. Now, I know some people like to fill in their eyebrows after the wax, but I don't like doing that honestly because I feel like it moves around my eyebrow hairs, which is disturbing the masterpiece. So I like doing it before, and that way I'm not applying too much wax. And again, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade five. And guys, please don't fill in your brows so much where it looks like a big black blob. It's not cute. You wanna fill in just a little bit because remember, the wax does have a little bit of color, so it's going to give your brow some color regardless. So I like starting in the middle here and fill in the arch slightly right there. And always keep doing this to smooth the product as you go. It's so easy to put too much. I have a scar right there from a car accident, so sometimes it's really hard to do my brows. If you guys are noticing, I'm barely touching the product. I also find when you hold the brush here, you tend to make more lighter strokes. And then right here in the front, I like to go like this. So literally that much. Now I'm going to blend it out with the brush, stroking it up. Sounds dirty. It's the difference? Shaped, not shaped. And that was so quick. So that's my brows filled in. And I know this brow looks a bit more cleaner than this one. This one looks a bit more messier. There's always a brow that never wants to listen because she is rude, honey. Next, you're gonna take your spoolie or your brush and some setting spray or even water, maybe. I don't know. But this is the MAC Fix Plus that I use all the time. You guys know I did have the Patrick Ta Mist as well, but I did run out of it. So you want to spray your brush like that. Get it wet. Make sure that your brush is clean also. Take your product and you want to get the product wet with the brush. So pick up as much product as possible. Well, not too much. So see I'm making it wet? <laughs> Sounds so bad. So there is the product. As you can see, it's a little bit tinted. This product is hard, but I find that when it's smooth like that, see how it's like blending, not blending, swirling really smoothly? That makes no sense. That's how you know it's ready. Then you want to start from the middle of your eyebrow again. So really push it up like this. Do you guys see a difference? See the hold? It's just creating defined eyebrows, but also making it bushy. And then go down, but keep moving it upwards. I need more product. brow try not to touch your skin because this product is tinted so make sure you stay within your brow that you're not touching anything outside and then I like to go to the front and really push it up see the difference now I like to make sure I place the hairs exactly where I want it so for example I might play in this area and kind of Do that, making my brows look bigger, larger than life. I'm gonna leave my brows here and then I'm gonna come back after I do this one. It's not going to get crispy or settle right away. So give it a few minutes, I'm gonna do this one and I'll come back to this. That looks crazy, so I'm gonna fix that. To do that, you're just gonna move the hairs a little bit. Noticing it's a little bit sparse right there, so I'm going to take a little bit more wax and see if I can fill this in a little bit more. Perfect! Now, I know a lot of people like that laminated brow look, which is not really for me because I feel like it's too intense, but I do like to set my eyebrows a little bit, but I have that bushy look. I'll show you what I mean. Next, take the flat end of your brush, press it down like that 
just make sure you don't go too high. I'm just pressing the bottom because if you go too high, it's going to make your brows look super laminated. I still want it to look bushy, but I just want to flatten it out a little bit. So that looks too flat now. Give it like 30 seconds and then I'm gonna brush it again. And while you're waiting, you could do your makeup, finish the rest of your eye makeup, whatever, and then come back to it. So it's not like a process you do all at the same time. I kind of go back and forth finishing my brows. So see how my brows look really flat on the top? I'm going to make it a little bit more bushy by doing this. Take your brush and just kind of play with it going up again, but very gently, like you're barely touching your brows and barely touching your skin. And it's just going to make the hairs not so flat. If you can see again, I'm placing the hairs exactly where I want it to, kind of fanning it out. Now you can leave your brows just the way it is, but I find that the Patrick Ta Wax doesn't hold my brows as well throughout the day. Like the hairs might go down. So to finish off the look, I like to take my Benefit 24 hour gel and just apply a little bit just to make sure that my brows are set. They're now moving no matter how much wind in the air, water, it's going to stay. Well, it's not going to stay with water, but let's put this gel. Again, this is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And you guys know I love the brush. So I'm applying just a little bit on the top. That way my brows holds its shape. And I'm taking the longer spikier side. And it's going to define your brows a little bit more too, doing this. happy with my brows i really like the way this one looks this one is doing a little weird thing right there but whatever i really like this one you have to remember that not every day is gonna be a great brow day sometimes it's just trial and error depending on how much product you use or how fast you're working but what i do love about this product is that it gives my brows that bushy natural look and it doesn't set so quickly that your brows are gonna have that white residue right away or you can't move it or change the shape after. If you guys have any questions or comments about this product, leave it in the comments below. I feel like this video was so hectic because honestly, I haven't filmed a YouTube video in like over a month and I just felt a little bit awkward on camera. It is so hard to do your brows while talking. So maybe next time I'll do a voiceover, we'll see. So yeah, if you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, help a girl out and like today's video. And if you want to see future videos from me, don't forget to hit the notification bell, which is somewhere here, I think. But I'm gonna go now. So if you wanna keep on talking, watch me do weird things, my Instagram is P. Follow my Instagram and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.